Hey everyone! So this is a different kind of video today. Um, it's like probably my first video that's not about rats. Um, I guess we could classify it as a beauty video. Um, so I have been saving my empties for all of my different beauty, skincare, whatever products. And um, I wanted to do an empties video. I used to do these on Instagram, but I don't have Instagram anymore. So this is my new platform. I'll just get really like started. Really like started, that's not how words work, Amy. All right, so the first one, this might actually be my oldest empty too. It's Ole Henriksen Truth on the Glow Cleansing Cloth. I liked these. Uh, I have super sensitive skin and I wasn't allergic to these. I didn't break out, nothing bad happened. It didn't dry me out. I liked them. I just didn't get them again because um, they're just more expensive than the other cleansing wipes I've been known to use. So I got one of the Sephora favorites. Um, it's whatever the cheapest one is. It's called Hello, I guess. Uh, and if you don't know, you get like a sample size of, I don't know, like seven or eight products. And then there are also these 15% off coupons that you can use if you want to get a full size of product after. Um, super worth it. I loved everything that was in here and it was like $13 highly recommend but they're often out of stock and I think you can only get them online at least where I live okay so the next thing I loved this it's the Aveeno ultra calm hydrating gel cleanser um, they discontinued the gel for some reason I think I can't get it online or in store um, which is a really big bummer because I really liked the gel but now they have they have the foam one still, so I use that, but the gel is my first love. Um, but I really like all the ultra calming products. They are good for my skin, because again, I'm super sensitive. This is one of the things that came in my Sephora favorites. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge um, Moisturizer. I really liked this. Uh, it did me good. It was yeah i don't know what else to say other than it didn't make me break out it was good for my sensitive skin um it didn't give me hives and that's always a plus i think actually out of all the moisturizers that were in that little sephora favorites this is the one i would actually buy the full size of so i don't even know what this was it's years and years old um it was a hard candy matte finish. It's There's still product in it, but it's just old and I don't like it. <laughs> so yeah, it was, I think I got it at Target for like $2, um, maybe when they were pulling out of Canada and it was on a big sale. I don't like it. It doesn't do anything good for me. I don't find it mattifies my makeup. And I don't find it makes my makeup stay anywhere. Um, I just hate it. it just sucks this also sucks um, this is the wet n wild mega volume mascara this doesn't do anything it's like it barely coats my lashes basically I just don't like it um, it does not give mega volume is what I'm saying so don't recommend so this one is the Pixie Beauty Blush Duo Rose Gold. Uh, I really liked this actually. It just was super similar to a lot of other blushes I have. Like it's just not a very unique color. It's a great color, but I just had ones that looked a lot like it. So I didn't actually use it all up. I scraped it out and mixed it with some other blushes I was done with and pressed them into a new blush um i love that blush it's magical because it's like a lot of colors that work really well together and uh yeah 
but that was a good product. I liked it. All right, this is Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. Um, I liked this more than I like other scalp scrubs, for sure. I don't like the product as a whole. Like, I find it kind of rats my hair at the roots. But I like this. I used it. I used it all up, basically. That's what I can say. Um, if you're a person who likes scalp scrubs, it's a good one. This, I'm actually sad, is done. Um, excuse me. This is Rimmel. I got the burps. Okay. This is Rimmel London Stay Blushed Liquid Cheek Tint in Touch of Berry. Um, I got this at Target. Target has not been in Canada since. 2015, 2016. Um, so I really liked this. I really held on to this. It did start to separate after like five years. So that's the only negative thing I have to say about it. I really like the color. I really like the formula, but I don't even know if they still make it. This, oh my God. First Aid Beauty, Ar Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. It's a really good product. Um, I think I just got this. It was like a Sephora points perk. And I love it. Oh no, you know what? It wasn't. It was in my Ipsy Glam bag. And it rocked. Loved it. I guess I should say that about this too. This is in my Ipsy Glam bag. I have a lot of sample size stuff um, from my Ipsy's. Okay, this I loved, but it dried out because again, I've had it for a really long time um, and I just don't, don't need to keep my makeup that long, I guess. I should stop that. Uh, but it's NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I loved it. It's in the shade Haynes. Really good. It just is really flattering on me. It went really well with my skin tone. Um, and I like the formula. Although as I got older, like it dried my lips out pretty badly. Um, yeah, it's good. I think I had this probably like two years before it dried out. So have no fear on that front. Normal people don't have sample size lip glosses for that long. Um, this is my baby. This is my baby. This is a multicolored blush powder palette in Blushing Peach from Physician's Formula. You can't even see what it was, but I love this guy. Um, I got this when I was probably in like grade 10 or 11 and I'm 27 now. So I let it go finally. It wasn't done. <laughs> it wasn't fully used, but I just felt like I didn't need to have decade old blush sitting around and going on my face. Um, but I did scrape it out and use it in my repressed blush palette that I talked about earlier. If, if they still make this product, a hundred percent I would buy it again. I would buy 20 of them. This is the best blush I've ever had and I miss it so much. It's my baby. Briagio, don't despair repair. Also my baby. My baby. Uh, I love this shiz so much that I bought a full size container. Um, it's just perfect. My hair is just, I wish you all could touch my hair. I have baby hair cause it's so fine. Um, and then I condition it so aggressively. It's just, I'm like a baby on the head. So yes, 
recommend. This came in the Sephora favorites, um, but I had also had it before as a points perk, or not a points perk, it was my birthday present from Sephora one year. Uh, yes. Solution Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. Um, I don't remember. It was in one of my Ipsy bags. I used it. It's empty. I don't remember. It was inoffensive. It's kind of like the scalp scrub thing. Like I didn't hate it obviously because I just don't remember, but. Aveeno Ultra Calming um, Sensitive Skin Nourishing Night Cream. I use this as all, all day, all night. I use this as an all the time moisturizer. It is really like nice and thick and it's good if you have like severe dry skin, which I do. Um, I love it. It's great. It's like that whole product line is really good for me because it's hard for me to find a drugstore product um, for skincare that doesn't like give me an allergic reaction or like exacerbate my eczema or whatever so that stuff is really a godsend Aww, memories this is my dior mascara i don't even know which one is it dior show iconic over curl mascara um i like this stuff a lot it was a sephora points perk i think I like the brush and I like the product. Um, although I do find that brush is particularly pr prone to clumping. Uh, used it all up, miss it. I have a bit of an addiction to like um, mini mascara. Sample size mascara is my bay, And yeah, I've uh, collected quite a amassed quite a collection um so i've been trying to use them up and dior was the first to go this is fenty beauty sorry i know you can't really see that yeah it's the fenty fenty beauty fly liner longwear liquid eyeliner because i'm black is the shade um i like this stuff a lot it's like a more expensive version of Maybelline Master Precise. Um, and it has quite a thin little felt tip, which if that's your thing, that's your thing. It's not really my thing. I prefer like a thicker one, but I mean, it's good. I like the product. I just have to make it thicker than it naturally wants to be. Um, this is, it's a date blush. Uh, yeah, by The Bomb Cosmetics. This was in my Ipsy bag. I liked it, um, but I also repressed it into that mega blush that I've told you about. Doo -doo -doo. Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Towelettes. I like this. It's good. It's just a good product. Um, it gets my face nice and naked when I need it to be naked. Not much else to say, it doesn't hurt my skin, which is important. Um, the non-sensitive Burt's Bees wipes do hurt my skin. This is Belif. I don't know how to say that, Belif. Believe in truth. The True Cream Aqua Balm. Yeah, this was fine. This didn't, I didn't feel any particular way about this. It was in my Sephora favorites bag. Um, I used it and it didn't bother my skin. So there's that. But I didn't have any strong feelings of love towards it. Uh, the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This one is 1.0 NS, very fair. So NS is neutral with silver. Um, I like it. I think this one, yeah, this is the one that is the right shade for me. Um, I think I've used the 1.1 and it is too dark for me. Um, I like the neutral silver highlights a lot. That's what works for me best. 
Um, yeah, I, I have a hard time pinning down my highlights, or my highlights, my undertones, so it's uh, for the best to choose a neutral one for me. I like it, I like the lightweightness. It's not a very full coverage, um, but I like that. It makes it easier for me to blend and get a natural look. This is Peter Thomas Roth, Firmex Peeling Gel. I like this stuff a lot. I bought a full size of this. I don't know how I came about this. I think I actually just bought this. Um, bought this in this size. I love it. It's, huh. I used it like two nights ago. No, I used it last night. My skin is feeling fantastic. I also, since I have the full size, I use it like on my back knee. Oh, my back feels phenomenal, divine. Yeah, I highly recommend it. This is Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrate Mask. This was in my Ipsy. Well, it was good. It's not as good as Briagio, but it's a pretty good product. Oh my God, my little bag is empty. So we did it. So that's what I have. Those are my empties and I'm excited to finally like recycle them or throw them in the garbage or do whatever you're supposed to do with your empty makeup instead of hoarding it in a drawer. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, I know this is a different video than I usually do. Um, hopefully somebody out there enjoyed it. And yeah, if you want to see rat content mostly, please subscribe. But I'll probably do a couple more like personal vlogs and stuff throughout the months just because I like it, just because I don't use Instagram anymore and I don't want to clog my Facebook newsfeed with videos like this. So yeah. Uh, and please let me know if there's a particular topic you ever want me to make a video on, whether it's rats, whether it's myself, whatever. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.